I believe we are underinvested in ourselves. It shows up in our wealth, but in our physical and mental health, it is a signal to our senses that is far too common. Fooled into thinking that because we are no longer in the days of eating top ramen that we can afford to grind beyond our capacity. Tearing down our God-given temples with the daily blasphemies of no bread, but large portions of everything else that keeps us going. No rest. They must think it's practical magic that keeps this man flowing. Girl, you look like you glowing, knowing I'm exhausted. Tiling up everything women are supposed to do, it makes no sense like the prayer of an agnostic. But girl, you got this. The rallying cry of the undefeated. Half the time I don't believe it, so I repeat it. Over and over like a meditated chant with purpose. Rolling in the deep, hoping it. One day the answer will surface and one day I'll be working. Worth the pause and the slowdown. Worth taking time for myself and applying all of my know-how that I exude to others. Tell me, why is it always the sisters who advocate for the tender love and care of the brothers, yet use it sparingly at best on ourselves? See, we ain't too proud to beg for anything except for some help. See, that in itself feels like a defeat in this refuse to lose double standard. Tell me, when did self-preservation become pandered into us thinking we are weak? Us who bring new life into this world and are lucky to get six weeks off of work, but not off of duty. Rising every time the baby cries for their beauty or any other sort of sleep. See, I think it's the postpartum from ourselves that makes us weak. Mm, I've gone too deep. But it's the shallowness of this society that attempts to drown us out. Sure, this distance between A and B is a straight line, but women are given the roundabout, told to yield our drive and ambition. So few political women are forgiven. It's no wonder we feel we have to ask for permission. Listen, you are a human being, full of light and worthy of love. You, like everyone else, made from the same stuff as the stars above and push comes to shove, your power is unmatched. So I'm asking for your sake that you leave some of your energy untapped. Untapped by the world and untapped by your people. Untapped by anyone attempting to treat you as less than an equal. So you have enough to write the sequel to that story you've been telling yourself about all you must give and take from everyone else. Now let that book be shelved and instead pull down a new volume and feel your strength as you open it and press down the spine. And let the sweet smell of creation invigorate and stimulate your mind. And let the first words that hit those pages both entitle and remind. And I dare you to say them out loud, the very next line, with the same passion and precision that when we heard Miss Walters cry and say, reclaiming my time, mm, reclaiming my time.